Never ever risk it in your hobby. That's my advice. Got slept off under. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Don't let the losses get in your head. That's the problem. Or to be a champion, you can't let the losses get in your head. You got to minimize mistakes in each game. You got to analyze the game. You have to be more assertive. And the role players are is stepping up for the Sixers. And other teams need to take that role. So, y'all eventually will break the ice, meaning that y'all will eventually get through it. If Sixers watch my videos, please understand that principle. Um, the reason I get better at basketball, even though know, we won by the night, I still could lose. I'm four or five. If I didn't learn from my mistakes and do better, and my teammates learn through trial and error, how are you going to get better? You got to fail before you see. So, and don't let your emotions get you all right. And don't sleep ever on opponent. Because y'all gotta waste that clock when y'all up sometimes. I didn't see the whole game. I'm gonna watch it again. Go to the video post feeds and watch it. You just put it on mute and see what y'all did wrong, all right? Um, it's okay to hold accountability. I will be back in the since the game eventually, so don't think I just left the team forever. Um, I'm a fan. I'm happy for y'all did this season. I'm proud of y'all. Mr. Rex always told me in mid-season when we kept losing like that, she said, y'all worked hard to get that record. Don't ever think, take it for granted. So that's what she told us. So we was, because we had like our own NBA in our school. We played a lot of days in school. We had a doctor's and into the um, thing. Um, we had practices, scrimmages and stuff. We did not, not only just, it was half court though. It was two on two, three on three. My classmates know, okay, my classmates know what was going on. We had to use bench players to come off the second, two, play, two of the man, two of the three. But this was half court. This wasn't full court. Yeah, full court would have killed us back there. It was, a, it was called the individual league. That's what we called it. It's just getting better. That's what my school called it. Um, Linda, if you're, thanks for doing that. She set it up years ago before I even played. I was the 03 pick of that year of the high school lead. And then the middle school lead had different tiers. We had middle school, we had preschool. Our school was scoring. They had all the grades. It was a special needs school. It was a private school, basically. Um, 35 and 10 winning the road. So. We just had, I just had a good coach. My coach always told us, don't sleep on the opponent. She used to tell us in the season, she used to tell me, don't hold your head down. Um, you want to have tired nights. And y'all have to play pop clock management. Don't rush at a court 100 miles per hour every five minutes. Unless you have an off night call timeout, you give it to the high hand player. Somebody else in the role can step up in five minutes, stay out of foul trouble. Um, y'all been defending better without fouling. Maybe the reaching fouls is hurt, y'all. The ref will call it more. They have to watch out for that. You can't get the y'all can't get the ref to uh, excuse to um call. Like you see how reaching here coming to court, you gotta touch all ball. If you don't touch all ball, you won't get the stuff. Just like that. Um this is, this is all the secrets I had. This is why my school will be 1-6-0 because I understood and understand that every game I can't take for granted. When I got into playoffs, I had to take every game seriously or we're going to walk away un unlimited. What else can you do? You got to close your heart, a beat. You got to close your heart. That means you got to get locked in. You don't have to kill your opponent. Like LeBron, if you hear me, as the players are hearing me from the NBA, y'all watching from a prior server, y'all – you gotta close your heart. That's what I told my rival. Close your heart. Meaning you gotta uh do what you had to do. It's like chess. It's like anything. Y'all should know y'all strengths and weaknesses. Y'all should know your opponents. If y'all don't, you memorize what y'all did wrong and right. 
demonstrated is through the video game. Yes, it don't move like real life. We understand that. It's a robot, but still, it has real... 2K has been proven us wrong, and I'm noticing it. I'm not a 2K hater. It's just 2K is different right now. Yes, I'm showing old footage because the moves is on 2K be better. So, see how we passing it? Push down the floor. He had a foul there. Switch positions. Put um, Tyrus Harris in the shooting guard. Put Maxi in point guard if you had to. Or Jace Hart in shooting guard. Mix the positions up. It's no longer a position, but it's size difference. And the draft. Look for people that can lay fleet arms and waistband. See, the waistband of my arms not long enough. So, you got to keep in mind, everybody got different waistbands. That's in arms. We call it a waistband. Um, have drills to practice how to poke the ball without touching the hand. How you going to steal the ball behind the head and all in? The ref's going to call it. It's a reaching foul. Because you clip into players. You got to study that. Just don't stop learning. I'm not saying I know everything. It's just basketball. Just like Dragon Ball Z. Y'all Dragon Ball Z fans, come on now. Y'all anime fans, you all analog stuff. In football, you got to do the same thing. But I'm only basketball. That's what I'm good at. Football too, I am. But I don't play football. I understand. I understand the playbooks on football. We say it in the list, but sometimes it's the player's skill that came in the league. It does get better over time. You don't stay the same forever. I know how they had 19 points, but 12 minutes. I know it's less minutes than one rebound, six assists. Let's look at the rest of the team. I gotta go to box score. I see what y'all did wrong and did right. I played a 14 game season, so I'm keeping this video as short as I can. Now we're in the All Star weekend, but see, this is my season. I only got one loss. Look, because I played the Hall of Fame, and I lost 48 to 52 to the Detroit. That's all Hall of Fame difficulty. Let's see what we did right there wrong. The bottom line is don't hold your head down. Man. That's all. That's the ones I had. It's only 14 game season. It's been 82 game season along with the wins. On law. And we all start. Trade deadline is now over. Y'all got what? Two more months? Three more months into the playoffs. So, y'all got to make 12 more wins, 8 wins, 7. Don't, eight realistic goal. Don't let the loss hold your head down, sisters. We 8 and 1 in my game, but we're going to play another season. I just shortened it because it takes forever. Um, later.